Wakanda Forever really wasn't as great as everyone made it out to be. Finally got the chance to sit down and watch it. It wasn't high on my watch list, but I've enjoyed some Marvel movies including The Last Black Panther. It ended up being just completely crap and boring. Some CGI looked fantastic, but most of it wasn't. I really only liked the opening scene where I did feel lots of sympathy for Chadwick and loved the silent Marvel Black Panther montage. Let's just say I won't be seeing the next installment. Edit I only meant when I said everyone liked it is that it's getting like three awards and maybe a couple Oscars, and I can't help but think why. Neymar was the movie's saving grace and every scene without him was just slow-paced, overly dramatic, or boring. I remember pausing it on Disney for a bathroom break and thinking fuck, there's still an hour and 40 minutes left. I really enjoyed the first movie, but Wakada Forever was easily forgettable. The only scene I can recall was the Queen's emotional speech to the bald woman I forgot their names. That scene was so powerful. You can say that about almost all Marvel projects made after Endgame. Tenok Hewitt and Angela Bassett reportedly experienced severe back pain from carrying the entire film. I thought it was pretty good, but goddamn was it long. I'm kind of tired of every Marvel movie being three hours long now. The pacing is so slow, and I just don't care about any of the characters, especially the blue people. Agreed, was rubbish. Loads of the recent Marvel stuff is entirely forgettable nonsense. The Real Transgressor was the first Black Panther movie. Just another Marvel movie made by the same Marvel formula. But it was given three Oscars, among other awards. Huh, interesting. I actually wasn't too big of a fan of the first one, and enjoyed this one way more. Was boring and forgettable. And that's from a hardcore Marvel fan. I didn't like the first Black Panther and probably won't be watching the new one. Chadwick Boseman was great in the role, I just didn't think it was a good movie. I'm sorry, but I also thought the original BP was poor too. The fight on the trains near the end was a PS3 cutscene level of CGI and some of the dialogue was poor. Aren't those superhero movies for kids? I saw it in the theater and it didn't feel long or boring to me at all. It had actually seemed to go by pretty quickly. It was pretty much a mess of bloat, poor motivations, contrivance, and worst of all a lead with all the charisma of pack of tumps. The worst thing about it though, is that it's probably the best thing Phase 4 had to offer. Phase 4 has been a shit show. There's promising bits here and there, but it's all just ultimately garbage. Victoria Alonso is just out of her depth and it shows in every production. By the way, Phase 4 had more minutes of content in two years than Phases 1, 2 and 3 had in over a decade. Disney is just shitting out content to be consumed at this point. I liked it. Neymar was fantastic. Just watched it a couple days ago, it's boring. It's not bad and it's not good, it's just expressionless face. Anybody who thinks it's amazing either are kidding themselves or have awful taste. Both Black Panther movies are mid. It's way too long, could easily be shortened down to 1h30. When it comes to Marvel movies now, I have lost massive interest, all of them just seem so boring, the CGI contributing to that. It's all just gone downhill from Endgame if you ask me. The first one sucked too. Three hours of my life I won't get back. So fucking rubbish. The only redeemable part was the underwater Mayans. How did it get this bad? Endgame was fantastic, but it's been steadily downhill since then. It was dreadful. The first movie was alright, didn't deserve the 10 tens it got, but it was okay. This movie was garbage. Also, am I the only one who thinks it was racist to white people? I don't really give a shit, but referring to the white guy as colonizer just felt wrong. Like imagine if he'd replied with ha ha slaver. Like. Referring to someone as the sins of their ancestors is okay, so long as it's only white people. The whole movie was just trying to justify itself without its main character. 
I honestly put it at the bottom of my Marvel movie list right next to Captain Marvel. We have to deal with the movie death of Black Panther and real-life passing of Chadwick Boseman and then they kill his mother. Enough with killing black people for entertainment, let alone figures of power enough with lazy writing killing mothers as motivation Disney, you traumatize generations with Bambi enough matricide leave it at that. Started strong, then kept going and going, not to mention the blue skin and underwater kingdom looked really terrible and it was released a few weeks before Avatar. I just watched it yesterday. It was pretty good. But I like this kind of stuff so whatevs. Twas shite. Both films are incredibly dull, don't know why they received such acclaim. Honestly, I don't think this is an unpopular opinion, it's just that everyone is scared to say it. The social race element to those movies made them unbearable. By social race element, I mean the fact that they were moronically made out to be shining symbols of black power, when in fact they're just mediocre films and are incapable of addressing real issues in society. Considering the extensive rewrites it turned out better than I thought. But it was nowhere near as hyped as the first one foot. I remember I got convinced the first one was special, so I watched it. And it felt just like every other superhero movie I'd ever seen. Tropes and all. Not bad, but really not anything special either. The first one wasn't either. It was barely mid-TBH. We know why these movies are praised. Exactly. Both movies were MEH. It's the woke movement being like, oh it's about black people so it's good no matter what. It wasn't. The whole movie felt like plastic food. I'll one-up you. I was pretty bored with Black Panther. There were a few cool scenes but it was not my favorite of those type of movies by a long shot. But it definitely felt like I should express that opinion out loud when talking to people. Society is weird man. Neither was the first one. I've never had the courage to say that. The idea is good, but the acting is over the top and the visual effects are underwhelming. This movie was absolute trash. I fell asleep in the middle. Everyone I know, including myself, found Wakanda forever to be kind of shit. It was a good memorial for Chadwick, but not a good movie for the masses. We kept checking the time during the movie, hoping for it to be near the end, several times. That's how you know you got a boring movie. Fact that this is so upvoted says most people probably agree with you. Not an unpopular opinion at all. It will get best picture, best supporting actor, etc. I thought that Captain America The Winter Soldier was a much better film, or Spider-Man 2, or Guardians of the Galaxy. Not sure if any of them received Oscar nominations. It shared an issue that Dark Knight Rises and Iron Man 3 shared. Not enough of the main hero. Everything good about this movie is a result of Chadwick being dead. If he were just in this movie with this plot, it would be standard, boring Marvel. And that's a strange thing. I enjoyed Love and Thunder more than Wakanda forever. I don't understand why Love and Thunder bombed but Wakanda Forever was lauded. There, I said it. It was a terrible movie. Half the scenes at the start were too dark as well. I was shocked after looking up reviews to people saying it was great. The first one was 10 times better and even that was only an 8-10. Advantage went in expecting complete trash. Really wished Chadwick Boseman would have reprised his character. It was not a good movie, at all. But for understandable reasons. Production was a mess. The Black Panther actor literally died. Covid hit. The Black Panther's sister was an anti-vaxxer. Tons of edits and reshoots. Etc etc. The movie was like three hours long and was clearly put together on the cutting room floor. Watched it last night. Paused it multiple times and said to my sucks. It was shit. Some emotional parts though. 